Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the challenge. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, get away from that fake brick wall that I'm usually sitting in front of. I am out and about stuck in traffic and I thought it would be a good idea to run you through an overview of what the software can do for you. We're gonna do a special today on BuyBot Pro. I'll do another one soon on Seller AMP. Uh, and then I'll do another one on Jungle Scout and hopefully Source Mogul as well, just to show you what sort of things can make your life so much easier, especially when you're in the beginning phase and you've got a free trial about you. Because two weeks on a free trial, you can do a lot of damage if you're going out and scanning the world. So I'm gonna do a section today, because I'm off work today and I've got the boy behind me. Say hello, mate. Yeah, I've got the boy behind me. We're gonna do a section today where I'll go out sourcing and I'll show you what the app can do. And then what I'll do is I'll go home and I'll also show you what the software can do on your laptop as a Chrome extension. It would all make sense as we go. So let's hit the road. So roll it. Right, haircut's done. Let's get shopping. Come with me. Disclaimer, I won't be buying all of these things unless I find an absolute banger, all right? This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, and I've got the boy with me too, so this could be a disaster. And look it, it's pouring hard. Let's see how we go. Okay, as we make our way to the clearance section in cosmetics, I'll let you know a lot of this will be screen recordings from my mobile phone. So this is Bybot Go. We'll find an item here. We'll see that's a tenner. We'll quickly scan that. And then we type in there, that's a tenner. And here is the product. So in this middle box here, we can see straight away, look, profit £6.67. And our ROI is 66%. And in the middle there as well, our break even cost is about 15 odd pound. That's good to know. Work our way down a bit. We can see there the percentage that the AI gives us is 56.99%. And it's all right, but the middle bit, the sales, 19 sales in the last 30 days, 31 predicted for the next one, and Amazon are on the listing. That's a shame. We need to see what the charts say. Once so we can see it's dipping, but that orange blob means Amazon are on the listing and they're owning the buy box. That's over the last 90 days. And you can see how clear it all is and how much you can select to see whatever it is you wanna see. For example, here's the yearly view. Now at the bottom bar there, we click analysis. That gives us the competition. So what we've got, the green blobs are the FBA, orange blob is Amazon, they've got a thousand in stock. We could take this one, but it is a risk. Nice to have the information though, isn't it? Let's try another product and move on. This one is going to cost us a big £8, goes for 21 quid. this should be good. There we are, £6.26 profit, 78% ROI. Let's see what the other stuff says. Only five sales, eight in the next 90 days. Uh, it's probably not worth it, but let's go through the motions. The charts, yep, look, the dips are less frequent in the year and the competition, oh, there is loads of stock. We'd have hold of these for months and months. No, thank you. On to the next. What's this one? Nope. This one doesn't sell on Amazon. That happens more frequent than you realize, you know. What's this one? 24 pound, okay, here we go, this is a tenner. Again, the numbers should be pretty good here. Six pound 43 profit, 64% returns. Let's scroll down, we got a 70% score, things are looking good. Predicted 29 in the next 90 days, not ideal. We're gated, let's press that button. Nope, didn't work, we're still gated. We'll need to move on from this one too. Wasn't to be. Okay, let's try this one. Nope, this one's not on the marketplace either. Again, it happens a lot. This is a fairly realistic sourcing exercise, to be honest with you. What about this one? Nope, can't even scan that one. Never mind. let's go find the boys some toys to play with. These software apps can make life so much easier. We've been gone about 20 minutes 
uh, one of the questions that I get a lot are, do you need an invoice or do you need a receipt? Yes, is the short answer. If a complaint comes in saying that what you sent was a fake. Now I'm a few months in and I've not had that yet and I've sold plenty from TK Maxx without any problems. But it is a risk that you need to be aware of. Let's go home and I'll, I'll set up the laptop and we'll go through what BuyBot Pro does when you're just looking at the Amazon website. Here we are on the laptop. We're on an Amazon page. It says business up here, but don't pay any attention to that. It's just because it's in my, my limited business. Uh, it shows all of the same information. So imagine that you're looking at your own Amazon screen. And what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll show what BuyBot Pro does. So you'll see, I've just searched in here just for something that I know I can sell. Avatar Lego. Let's do that again from the start, shall we? Okay, and here comes the information. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see already what the Chrome extension for BuyBot Pro does. See if you spot the difference. Well done for those at the back. Those are the boxes that BuyBot Pro gives us a snapshot, a thumbnail of information that we wouldn't have initially had without it. It tells us that this is being sold by Amazon, so usually we'd swerve that. It tells us we've already got eight FBA sellers on there and 26 people are selling it from home. What you'll notice then, when we came into that, the information that we initially had, that disappeared, it's bopped down the screen. And now in place of it, we've got this BuyBot Pro calculator on the right and this BuyBot Pro Island in the middle. Now we're gonna say hypothetically here that we've managed to source this for 12 quid, okay? So we'll put 12 pound in there. Just get my mush out of the way and we hit the analyze button. We're gonna work from the top down. So we shift over to the calculator over here, the island, and it gives you again a snapshot. It gives us much more information in depth as we go down. But for now, we know that we're making 14 pound profit on each one, over 100% return. And the estimated sales are 12, 19, uh, 1200, sorry. And when you hover over it, look, it breaks it down month by month. This is how many it sold in October, November, December. Look what Christmas did, look. The prior 90 days, look, it sold on average 1300. So fair to say this is a good one. I wish I did find this for 12 quid. Let's carry on going down here. Can I sell this? You get a yes or no. If you're ineligible, it would say here, do you want to try and ungate? You can push a button there, just like the app, and it will tell you whether you can. Thanks, mate. So as we come down here, it tells us more information. What's this red button, red light here? Look, green light's good, red light's bad. There is little or no evidence of Amazon sharing the buy box. Again, that's a big, big red flag. That's enough for me to go. That's enough of this, I'll swerve it. As we keep coming down, you can see all of the information that it gives you, look. The drops that it's had in the seller rate, depending on how many people have bought it. How much it would cost to break even, estimated. Don't pay too much stock into these fees. It could be anything up to two pound out either way. We just don't know what Amazon are gonna be putting on each fee per category. And it's unfair for us to expect any software to know that either. Amazon make the rules up, right? What's really nice about this is if you had a 5% cashback on a top cashback deal, you can select that. If you've got a buy one, get one free, you can select that as well. So let's select those two. And let's go back and reanalyze and look what happens to the number over here on BuyBot Pro Island. Straight away, look, we've got 20 pound profit instead and the ROI has jumped up. It automatically calculates and discounts the cashback offers you can get. Then it gives you a nice handy percentage rate then of how good the offer is. So if you can't be bothered to read the data, just go from that and then you can tell whether anything's good or not. We've even got a suggested purchase quantity and they say this one's going so well, if you, if you bought 10, you'd flog them no problems at all. And then we get into the real nitty gritty and this video could take an hour, but this is just an overview. But in place of keeper charts, BuyBot Pro have put their own charts on there, which are simplified. 
So if we go over here, look, you could hover over any part of this and it will break it down for you. So let's say, let's just stop it here. New Year's Eve at 9.30 in the morning. That's me. New Year's Eve, 9.30 in the morning. The seller rate was 850. The buy box was 37 pound. Amazon was sending it for 35.49. So Amazon were undercutting the buy box. This heat map features something I quite like as well. When it's dark red, it's selling. When it's not, it's not. I like colours and pictures, it makes life easy. Over here on the right, the competition analysis, this is important. This number here is how much everyone's got in stock. The orange means that they're an Amazon seller. So Amazon have got 657 in stock and they're the cheapest. That's why no one's going anywhere near this. There's only three people that are silly enough to be FBA sellers on this, but I'm willing to bet they are very experienced and probably big businesses as well. So FBI, uh, so ECM Direct have got one, Collectibles UK has got three, and Scan Direct has got seven. They're not even getting into a price war with Amazon, probably because if they do that, they'd probably end up losing money. So I think they're just waiting to ride it out. And if it's selling a thousand times a month, there's every chance they might flog them. So we go down here and you've got more charts to look at more things to help you make an informed decision. And ultimately, that's what we want. We want as much information as we can, as much intelligence as we can, so we can build an informed decision about whether we want to go for a product or whether we want to leave it behind. But these softwares, Seller AMP and especially Biobot Pro, they give you so much information that you really can't go wrong. That if something is telling you, yes, buy this, and it ticks your boxes and you've done your due diligence, you really can't go wrong because this software makes life so much easier for you. I think that'll do for now. That's just a quick snapshot. Let's go back to the main thing so it's not just me in a 10 pence piece. All right, that's it for this one. I wanted that experience to be as authentic as it can be. Far too many videos out there where someone walks in with something, scans something and it's a hundred pound profit and it's just a load of rubbish. An awful lot of time while you're going out there sourcing, you're gonna be finding more misses than hits. If this was easy, everyone would be finding gold nuggets everywhere, wouldn't they? Let's be honest, it's not easy. It's all about how much graft you put in. You wanna find the tricky ones. But this video was more of an example of what a good bit of software can do and it can save you time in binning something off rather than reading the data, trying to think that you've got something right and you're guessing more than knowing. A good bit of software makes your knowing an awful lot better proportionally. So that's it. Thank you for your time. I hope it helped. Any questions, of course, throw them in the comments and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, any other suggestions for other videos? I do like this concept of going through and testing the software at the moment. At the moment, currently, what are we on now? We're in January, 16th of January. I'm using Bybot Pro. I'm not using Seller AMP for no other reason. I enjoy them both, but it is good to use both because both of them can offer different things. Uh, that's it. See you for the next one.